Hi, today I want to talk about using the hundreds chart. And so you can use the, the 100, 120 chart to actually teach kids how to add larger numbers on the hundreds grid. And so say we're going to add just um, number, add 10 and take away 10. So you start in a number and then you say, okay, we're at 43 and now we're going to add 10 and they slide it down. Or you say we're going to at 53 and we're going to add um, 20 and they slide it down too. Or we're at 73 and we're going to take away 10. It's at 63. Or we're at 73 and we're going to add 10. It's at 83. So you really want to use that hundreds grid to get kids to understand how to add and subtract 10. And then another standard is that kids can add and subtract within multiples of 10. So you go over here and you have kids say, oh, I'm at 70, I'm going to add 20. I'm at 70, I'm going to take away 30. I'm at 40, I'm going to add 40. So you can use the hundreds grid. I really like the hundreds grid as a support, not as the first place, but as the second place. So you go concrete with the base 10 blocks, and then you go pictorial with that hundreds grid. And then abstract, they should just be able to do it by understanding I'm going to look at the digit, and I'm going to change the digit. So that's um, just a quick tip around uh, using the hundreds grid. Okay, See you next video.